Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. I basically love cheese and snacks made with cheese are a lot of fun to me. Although I consciously make sure that I'm having them in moderation. I'm going to show you these delicious and cheesy mozzarella sticks that are super easy to make and I can't wait to share with you. I'm already beginning to drool as I'm talking about this. So without waiting or wasting your time, let's dive right into the recipe. So first, I'm going to season the breadcrumbs. So this is going to be your coating for the mozzarella sticks. Add quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon pepper, add one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and one teaspoon of chili flakes. Mix everything well. I've already made a video on how to make homemade breadcrumbs. You can check that out and make your own breadcrumbs at home. So once you've mixed everything, keep this aside. For the batter mixture, add three fourth cup of maida that is all purpose flour. Next, add quarter cup of corn flour. Season it with a little pepper, a little salt and some chilli powder. So you can either use paprika or chilli powder. Seasoning the flour will actually give you a lot more flavour to the mozzarella sticks. Now gradually pour water to get a nice batter. Make sure to add little water at a time. You don't want the batter to be too runny. It shouldn't be too thick either. Just right so that it coats the mozzarella sticks. So using a whisk to mix this will really help. So you can see the batter is ready, keep this aside. So I'm using a 200 gram block of mozzarella cheese. So you also get it as pizza cheese in the supermarkets, you can use that as well. So you can cut them a little thick or thin depending on how you like it. Now just drop the breadcrumbs onto a plate, just gently spread it out. So we have the mozzarella sticks, the batter is ready and the breadcrumbs are ready. Take one stick, dip it into the batter, make sure it's fully coated. Now gently place it onto the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to be double dipping the mozzarella stick. So those of you who eat eggs, you can use the egg wash as a coating for the mozzarella sticks. So that way you will get a nice even binding as well. Dip it back into the batter and roll it back onto the breadcrumbs. So this way, the mozzarella stick will be completely coated with the batter as well as the breadcrumbs. So once the mozzarella sticks are fully coated with the breadcrumbs, keep it on a separate plate. Just get all the mozzarella sticks ready in this manner. Now that all of them are done, pour enough oil onto a pan. You can use a wide kadai or a pan to fry the sticks. So once the oil is nice and hot, gently drop the mozzarella sticks Make sure you don't overcrowd it or fry too many at a time because they melt very quickly. So make sure the oil is nice and hot and just fry them for just a few seconds until the sticks turn to a nice golden brown colour. The mozzarella sticks have turned to a beautiful golden brown colour. It doesn't matter if a little bit of the mozzarella oozes out. It's quite natural, it tends to happen. But don't leave it in the oil for too long. Wow, look at those absolutely scrumptious mozzarella sticks. Wow, those gooey and cheesy mozzarella sticks look absolutely amazing. So when you break them, you can see how the cheese is literally oozing out. This is a great starter snack for parties, get-togethers, or just for a nice evening with your friends. It's definitely a party pleaser and it's super easy to make. Just follow all these instructions and let me tell you, you will absolutely enjoy it. Wow, those gooey, cheesy mozzarella sticks are the best. You cannot miss out on these. And you can see how easily we've made them at home. Just follow all the instructions. And the key thing is you must serve them hot. And I've served it with some nice ketchup by the side. You can enjoy it however you like. So do try the recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.